bit everyone, and welcome back to Napoleon Total War 3. Last time around, we had our armies attacked by an Italian army over by this bridge. They pinned us against the river, but Kutuzov was able to thwart the attack. His troops held the line and forced the Italians away. The remnants of that army can be seen over here recuperating but at a very slow rate they will not come against us again what we have now is that since last time I've gone ahead and end turned or done an end turn um, the Austrians have not advanced on the town like I prob what I feared that they would t possibly take it before as but before I could get there um, so they're just standing on the bridge, and I definitely want to get there. Looks like there might have been a conflict in between the two, because these guys are, have lost manpower, clearly. And so have the, uh, um, the Austrians. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead, hopefully I'll be able to attack the town directly, because then I can finish it in one battle, rather than having to march up, be intercepted by the enemy, and then having to fight two battles. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to start with Kutuzov. And he's just going to come across the river. And then we're going to have uh, Fyodor Fyodorovich, Paxhovden. He's going to be the one to actually uh, be the one to move on the town. Currently... Looks like Kutuzov is standing in the way. I'm gonna get as close as I can. Because I think if I move forward, then this army is definitely big enough so that he would go ahead and try and intercept us. Um, but if we both here, ready to support each other... Oh, I won't make it all the way. Hmm. If I move forward now, we might be intercepted. And we were intercepted. But I do get support. And I not only that, I get support by the Austrians as well. So that's good. However, Kutuzov has already fought a battle. And he's lost a lot of men. So... Oh, look at that. We're not intercepted by the main army. Instead, we were intercepted by this group up here. Which means that these are guys going to come in as reinforcements. They've got a lot of cannons. 12-pounders um, and a 3-pounder. Then two 7-pounder howitzer. Light cavalry. More light cavalry. Polish light cavalry at that. Plus a Polish Legion. We've got Grenadiers, Infantry, Light Infantry, and so on. Quite a lot of troops, but in the combined force we outnumber them. Especially with the Austrians. The Austrians got even more cannons. What am I talking about being worried about the Italian cannons when the Austrians got tons of it? Hopefully they'll be able to put them in some kind of a good order. Anyways. Let's not linger here and strategize. All the plans will, as they say, disintegrate upon contact with the enemy. So let's just get straight in and get stuck in and defeat the enemy and open up the road to Milan. Pretty simple setup. I just want to go ahead and try and destroy these guys before the rest of the reinforcement comes in. Since the guys that are intercepting us was actually behind the force, that was um, the main force. I don't know where it kind of will sort of set up that they are going to come in to aid them. Um, so we'll have to keep an eye out for that. With that, uh, we're going to advance light infantry forward, hopefully shoot down the cavalry, and then my cavalry will move through the forest and attack and take the guns. We'll move kind of to the high ground here, which we can kind of see on the map that we have kind of a high ground here in the center. You can do it like that. You can see the high ground there. And then there's low ground towards the town. 
Which I kind of imagine or kind of hope that the enemy comes through there somewhere. Let's go ahead and start. Start advancing. So our reinforcements is coming from over here. That's our Russian reinforcement. I don't know where the Austrians are turning up. Okay, I can already see the Italian reinforcements behind the town, which is actually perfect because they'll be splintered going through town. And if I am able to run up my troops up onto this hill, overlooking town, or this, it's not really a, it's a slight incline overlooking the town, is the, where's the Austrians going to come in? Is where I, what I'm wondering. What if they even are gonna come in? Let's go in and set you up to move there with your cavalry. I should have actually sent or changed what units were coming in. Oh sh! How did I miss this? I was talking about a bunch of other bullshit. And now the enemy... Uh, are they gonna fire from horseback, are they? No, they're charging. Okay, they're broken. Continue the advance. Break the square. I didn't think they were gonna be that bold. Enemy general staff is up. And my hussars, and I set up in the forest, there's lots of them. So we've got, what's this? Dragoons. And over here we've got the Polish hussars. We need them to prepare against the enemy. Cavalry onslaught. Okay, so it's basically only cavalry that's coming at us. I'm gonna form into squares. But I, as, as cannons are really slow, I wanna continue we having them move forward. Now they must break. Idiot general riding up all the way to the light infantry getting shot. My heavy cavalry is stuck in with the two uh, enemy units, so the dragoons and the Polish hussars. We've got another cavalry unit and the bloody cannons are now firing towards my hussars in the woods. We'll order a charge. The squares might be able to fire onto these. Let's not have Buxhoven, Buxhoven move into the range of enemy fire. So this unit looks like it's going to break pretty soon. It's been split in two. And now my hussars join in the fight. Okay, we should uh, continue to advance. I want to stop the enemy before they get up here. Okay, they are broken. Break the squares, continue the march. Get the cannons up there. Kutuzov and the general will continue forward. We got these two heavy cavalry moving this way. We've got the uh, horse drawn artillery, and then I've got the extra troops bringing it, being brought in by Buxhoven and his force. Heavy cavalry should continue on here because my hussars chase down some enemy unit. Now they're actually being uh, attacked. The enemy is being caught by two sides here. With my heavy cavalry and the hussars moving in. And then my infantry is closing in as well. And I could have them open fire. We can have the line infantry actually stop here. And fire on the enemy. And while that is happening, these should continue. While these should try and bypass most of the action. With that gun fired, looks like we're going to break the enemy. 
and be ready to see off the Italian infantry. No Austrians have been seen as of yet. Or is that an Austrian? There's something blue about here. Let's see. Doo -doo 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 -doo. There's something here. There's definitely something blue there. No, no. Oh, I don't know if that's uh, the Austrians or what that is. Okay, now my cavalry is coming under fire from the enemy infantry, and I bet these guys are tired at this point. Yes, they are. Hold. Open fire. So the light infantry move up. And then these should turn in. They've actually moved off the high ground here. There's actually low ground on the side of the hill. Let's get these uh, horse-drawn six-pounders up onto... Well, I think they're three-pounders even. No six-pounders. Drawn up quickly onto the flank here and set to canister. We've got these fresh cavalry divisions, which I can set up onto the flank, or not really divisions, I should say. Cavalry should organize itself over there. And then we've got these uh, reinforced units being brought up. Enemy grenadiers making an attempt on the light infantry to try and break them. There's three Italian units. I'll bring up Cattuso and my other general to support. Looks like the enemy is being broken over there. And the musketeers is holding off the rest of the Italian infantry. Don't forget to tell you guys to fire at will. Yes, I did. We'll, we'll actually need to move the artillery a bit forward so I can actually fire over the crest of the ridge here. There we go. That should be enough. Set up and start firing. I do have the Leibgewardy right here and the enemy is breaking before our very eyes. We've got Polish Legion right there. I want to see if I can get shots off with these cannons. Enough so that most of these will break. The cavalry will start to advance. One volley of cannons there being ordered by the general to break the... Uh, to break the Polish. We've got... A, that's only cannons. Let's advance to the top there. The rest will hold. I don't think the... It's good positions down here though. Okay, so now the big guns are here. The 12 pounders. The 12 pounders will go up to the very ridge. Cossacks ready to charge. And the heavy cavalry. Heavy Russian cavalry charging in. Cossacks charging in. Let's break these units and see the enemy run before our army. Grenadiers might hold, but there's such an onslaught of uh, our troops, it's very unlikely. Let's keep up the advance. And let's advance the rest of the troops here against the enemy. Have the cavalry ride through here and out here while my infantry moves forward. Most of this is uh, just cannons moving forward. A lot of the uh, infantry to set up there. Hold. And then you can hold there, and then these two should set up along there. And the cavalry rides through. Let's have this unit moving kind of there. We've got the Polish Legion is back. 
in action. Let's go ahead and blast them with artillery. I think both positions might very well be able to fire on those. We'll spare Buxhoven's men most of this because I'm going to have them charge the enemy. All the Italian cannons are just walking straight into us. The general is moving forward now, finally, to support his men. But it's a little bit too little, too late. Cannons will now hold fire and I will order bayonet charge. And everyone here at the front line will hold fire, so when they stop... And also, toggle off guard mode. This is the only unit now standing. Captain just killed one of our grenadiers. But they are forced to retreat. The Pavlovsky guard running down the cannons over here. Make sure that they don't get out. Light infantry run in front of them. Stop them. And uh, yeah, we're victorious. Let's see if I can move forward and start laying the siege of uh, Milan. Could be just a quick out resolve, which would be. Absolutely wonderful, if that would be the case. Here's the result of that battle. We deployed a total force of 4,000 men. I guess a lot of that is including the Austrians, which didn't actually turn up at the battle. No surprise, maybe. Um, we lost about 500 men, while the enemy lost three times as many. It's almost 1,500, leaving only 500 Italians left. Um, our force counted here says 3,000, but obviously that I think that includes the Austrians. So um, that is not to be a trusted number. When we take a look at who killed the most, it's the Jaegers, followed by the Musketeers, followed by the Leibgewardi, Pavlovsky Polk, and then Grenadiers and so on. We weren't able to really set up the cannons. To do a lot of damage. Still though, they killed quite a few. And this is the only unit that gained a chevron. Right. Let's go ahead and see. The Italians are moving away. So they're moving away from town. And the secondary force as well. And we get a cross battle there. Nice. Buxhoven will continue and lay siege, and as it's only local militia, and uh, yeah, and just a few troops in the back there, it's quite an easy out resolve, and we do get the Austrians in reinforcements here as well, which is quite surprising because that's quite far away. But I guess the reinforcement circle is very big in Napoleon Total War 3. Um, bigger than I remember. Uh, let's go ahead and out resolve here. Or maybe I should quick save beforehand just so the no units um, kind of miraculously decide to die here. And we're ready. Yeah, no units miraculously died because we only lost 255 men compared with killing almost 3,000 of these militiamen. Highest killers, they're all split almost 
equally depending on what troop it is. Even the generals get their share of kills in this. And some units actually get chevrons, which is nice. But that means that I've killed the Italian stake. Now I could resurrect it as my own puppet. The problem is your allies never respect them. Now I, w I wish I could paint the map like it was the uh, Holy Roman Empire with tiny one state places everywhere. But there's no way Austria would go along with this and they would most likely go ahead and just declare war on it. So, mm, occupy or loot? I have no interest in holding this place and just giving it up to the Austrians. Now, I would obviously gain a bit of, kind of, bit of a cash to, um, to, um, just hold it for a long time if I'm able to. At the same time, looting it? Hmm. But what would the Empress say if the first thing we're moving in as sort of objective to liberate Ju Europe from that tiny little French corporal? Um, what, what would that look like if we start looting everything, those pesky Russians? Relations would sour. We're gonna just peaceful occupy for now. No raping and looting of Italian women today. They're still ve they're very unhappy, and even if I uh, stop taxing them, they're gonna revolt both classes. They're very unhappy of foreign occupation. Of course, because it's a, a capital region. Um, I mean the I think the. The meta choice would definitely have been to loot it and just leave it. Um, we do get a bit of replenishment, hopefully, so I can set up, um, set up for an attack on the Swiss. Don't think I will be moving through the mountains through winter, but I think in Napoleon, the Russians actually get like a magical ability if for some reason they can resist winter uh, compared to other nations. Um, the Austrians suddenly get a lot of replenishment compared to us. I guess because they can actually recruit troops in this region and that's why they get such a lot or so much. The thing is, once we get there, we'll be able to complete this um, quest and get 4,000. 4,000 seems like very little when I could have looted Milan and got 25,000. 25,000 would have bought me a lot of upgrade of Russian infrastructure and would have improved my overall tax um, income in Russia. So that would have been nice. But we took Milan. I get in another intellectual center in Florence, which allow me to speed up my process of modernizing which have come a, quite a long way uh, just by trading technology back and forth with everyone. So that'll be nice. But yes, this will be that, this episode. And uh, for the next one, hopefully I'll be pushing on uh, Switzerland. Possibly securing uh, Piedmont, the Piedmont region before going on. Um, hopefully though, we don't get too bogged down in military campaigns here. I don't really have the military strength right now to go ahead and uh, kind of crush the um, crush Napoleon and his troops. Uh, we can't actually recruit any troops and the replenishment base is not very great. But we'll see as we progress. With that said anyways, this has been the third episode, and as always, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.